Good evening, everyone. It is um, such a pleasure to be here in such inspiring company. I was saying to Andy sitting at the table as all the other um, award winners were before me. Wow, I, I, I can't do that stuff. I can't do... I haven't done all those things. But what I have done is, um, is a couple of things. And one is to create an artificial intelligence or machine learning company, which now helps large financial institutions uh, in the US, Australia, and uh, very soon to be Asia, um, guide their customers through their, a better experience. But before I talk about that for about uh, 90 seconds, I do want to also um, do something that's very important and uh, for me, and that is to, to also acknowledge the, the beautiful space that we have here, um, Sydney, and also the, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. So I um, have been brought up, um, my father and mother, Harry and Pat Wallace, sitting up the table with my five children and their partners, and my partner, Anna, right at the back, um, right up in the corner. Um, was uh, brought up to be of service and um, part of what is important to our families, of course, our uh, Indigenous um, people. So I do want to acknowledge that beautiful welcome to country that Auntie Millie did as well. So quick story about Flamingos. So we founded um, in, in Australia in 2014. Um, Joe Waller, who's our CTO, who's actually the brains behind the technology, and I... Um, thought we'd build a business in Australia and then realised that Australia, this is just over two years ago, was really not too up on the old machine learning, artificial intelligence, tech. And so as much as everyone tonight were really applauding Australia, and of course I am a loyal Australian despite dividing my, my time between New York and Australia, is that we're actually really behind on this shit, right? We actually are terribly slow in embracing things like machine learning, artificial intelligence. So if I give you some high-level stats, so by 2020, which is two and a bit years away, 30% of all customer interactions will be done by a machine, by something like Rosie, by a Siri, by a Cortana, an Alexa, all female names, that's a, another story for another day. 40% um, of all fast-moving companies will have 50% of all their interactions done by machines not by humans. And within 10 years, 40% of injuries such, industries such as retail, hospitality, tourism, and insurance, where we're focused, 40% of these jobs will be automated by machines like the ones that we're, we're building. But in the US, I've just come back from um, a big insure tech conference in, in Vegas. I've uh, come back from spending three weeks in New York. And this is what we talk about over there, is artificial intelligence, machine learning, and blockchain, and here we hardly speak about it. And so my call out tonight is two things. One is I hope that this can um, be an amazing platform for us to start talking about these subjects because they're coming, people. The, the machines are rising, the robots are here, right? So funny, so I, I go to find um, an icon for Rosie, our, our virtual assistant, and I'm Googling in Australia. And I go, robot, sort of half human, half, um, half robot. And I get either sexy bot or terminator bot. So we either, as Australians, either want to fuck them or fight them. There's, there's nothing in between. So what we've got to understand is that the machines are here, but in the best, very best possible way. Machines will augment and help we humans be more human. So what I do want to say is, one, that there is thinking and um, ethics and um, uh, wanting to improve the human condition sits with those of us who are founding these AI companies. And two, the other thing I wanted to say, um, I think it was mentioned in the video that um, Flamingo is the second only woman-led business on the ASX with a woman chair, Cathy Reid and myself, and I do hope that I can use this award to inspire um, other women tech-led businesses. Thank you, everybody, very much.